the mural has uh, has been defaced three times, but it also has has a life of its own. My name is Daniel Angelo. I live in Houston, Texas, and I'm a muralist. I've considered it painting over it, actually, you know, just because I felt like it's a lot of work for me to go out there and, and, and clean it all the time. But at the same time, people's, people care about it now. So just as much as it has been defaced, it also has been visited by several people. You know, we have candles and flowers, I guess, as gifts for, them, for the community. We're going to stand together. We're going to uplift the good, push down the negative stuff. We've had the, uh, the chief of police to come out and actually stand in front of it and, and told the community and the city that this was not going to happen on his watch. So I think that's, that's something that I have never experienced before, just to see the level of uh, of, of people with uh, some leadership or power in the, in the city that they want to protect our work. We've experienced in Houston that there's been several cases of that people have come out and, and used public space to express their concerns with different issues. I think if that continues, you know, we'll have more to not let us forget what's going on around us. Murals have become part of, of that of that effort to not let us not let us forget what we stand for. Like issues are not yeah, they're not they're not, they're not political but for that particular one we had to there's a thing that uh Nina Simone wrote that it's an artist's duty to reflect the times. My name is Mr. Detail Seven. I'm a graffiti artist based in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, we wanted to talk about what was happening concerning the racial discrimination uh, uh, that was happening. That picture uh, specifically, it was a, a good picture to show. Uh, it, it was taken maybe, I think, in a good time in his life. It was a, it was a kind of smiling, so I thought it was the best photo to use at that time. Taki. It's a Swahili word for justice. On the other side, we also did another uh, mural of uh, a police, like st uh, stepping over a, a, a citizen. So it's uh, like a worldwide thing. There's a police brutality, I think, in a lot of countries in the world. So we try to put, put that message in that whole mural. The message, no, it hasn't faded. Uh, it's, it looks a bit old, but uh, it's still there. What I want is for my son to have a more colorful place and a more colorful world. My name is Jackie Comrie. I am a mural artist, and I am I'm an artist who is truly obsessed with color. About, about a month before uh, the George Floyd killing happened, uh, I found out that I was pregnant um, and everything hit differently for me. Everything affected me completely different. I started thinking, what if, that, what if this were my child? Uh, how can I keep my child safe? So I felt that I, I needed to be present in that mural project and uh, for my son. And I needed to contribute and be there, be a part of the movement and be a part of, of the, the process and, and the activism. Of course, there was a, a, flo um, a street mural. Uh, so because of the, the, the cars going by, uh, it's already faded um, over time. There was a few people that actually drew, uh, rode their bikes uh, on on top of the letters and on top of the actual mural while we were producing it. So of course it, it speaks volumes of the resistance and and the uh, the lack of respect for uh, for the message. But uh, the fact that we were there and we uh, it, it was the, the the community and the people that were engaged in that message was uh, what was important. I think the, the the face of George Floyd, and I think that uh, the the murals uh, that are being produced, it, it, it will continue. Mural art has been uh, a form of activism for decades. Um, it's nothing new. Working in public art and in the public realm, I have a responsibility to use my platform for social change. I feel that I, I don't take that 
that responsibility, I don't take it for granted. Murals have been produced uh, around the world to to talk about politics, to uh, talk about social issues um, as a way of dialogue. So I think it will continue.